Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm reassessing where to put some solar panels uh, for the bungaloha up there. And right here, this panel uh, test panel array, as you can see, I'm about 11 o'clock in the morning and it's still not producing. And I'm gonna show you around and uh, what I've come up with got to get some better power and it's a tricky location up there because of the tree coverage so I'll walk you around and show you what I'm dealing with so for the past few days I've played around with uh, different positions one being back in here one over there uh, back in there was okay but I'll show you why I decided against that so Back in here, like I said, just after 11 o'clock in the morning, pretty good sun back in there. But uh, here shortly, some of those trees still affect this area quite a bit. So yesterday I had the panels out there. Uh, they did okay, but still not great. So I kind of have uh, gotten over putting them there. Now, if I was to build an array much higher back up in here. Uh, that would work just fine for most of the day. And I played around with this position as well in the past couple of days. As you can see, like right now, it's beautiful full sunshine uh, on the east side. Uh, but here's some shadows starting to come and they're gonna start affecting this whole area here shortly. So I'll show you what I'm looking at sun-wise, there's the sun out there in the east, and it's gonna get high enough to get over those trees and keep that one position that I just showed you in pretty good shape, uh, but this does not last uh, long enough. And I've got 400 watts of solar tied up right now in series, and that's what I wanna start with on the, the shop here. So yeah, while that looks really good right now. You can see already those trees out there. Uh, here shortly, this turns into not such a good spot. And I do have the uh, Victron MPPT 130 set up now because I am gonna run 400 watts. So uh, this was that little portable charging board I showed you. And I could just reach just inside the door. I don't like that location. But again, I'm just running around trying to find the sweet, sweetest spot for the solar. So right now it's a charging at about a whopping 20 watts off of that 400 watt array. Not good enough. And I really like the location of the shop. It's nice. It's going to be a nice, cool environment because it's going to get good shade. Uh, but <laughs> that works against me for the catching good sun and these trees are quite tall and there's just nothing in here or no place available that's really good. Now here I moved these panels down here uh, yesterday afternoon because this was getting absolute full sun and it did for many, many hours. And I thought, okay. And I had 60 feet of cables. So I ran all 60 feet of cables out here and it does reach to just inside that door, which is still not quite where I want it. So I'm gonna need a few, a few more feet because... So the sun has cleared the trees over there good for the past half of an hour at least. Uh, even longer than that. I mean, it was up there an hour ago and I was getting full sun where I'm standing here. So there's the array with 60 feet of cables tied up to there, only getting about 20 watts right now, like I said, because being in series, any one of those panels in the shade just takes out the whole array basically. But 20 feet to the left, this is the sweet spot. This has been in full sun for two hours, fully two hours. And you can see 
it's right next to what has always been my sweet spot, which is there's a thousand watts of solar going into that Chins battery bank, what I call the main house system. And that's why I put that there because it is absolutely the best. So I was hoping to get uh, my panel array for the shop a little closer, but it's gonna go right here because I would be cranking you know, over 300 watts right here for the past couple of hours, and I would until late in the afternoon. So all I'm gonna have to do is add 20 feet, because 20 feet will get me to right here, and that's all I need to be in full sun from this time of year which is really what I want it to be uh, built for this time of the year where the sun is at the lowest. You know, some of that area I showed you way up behind the shop in the summertime would be fine because the sun, the sun just goes straight up here and hangs out up here right over your head for, you know, all day long. But I need it built for this time of year to catch this, the best sun I can. And then every day now with the sun going up, this just gets better and better and better. So right here, that's the sweet spot. That's where this array is gonna go. It's taken me several days of moving panels around and seeing what I could really harness watt hour wise. Uh, this is gonna be the spot right here. So I need 20 more feet of cable. So I'm gonna order that uh, and hook this up. And that shop will be full all the time. Now here in, you know, another 30 minutes or so, that sun's gonna be up a little higher and it's gonna stay above those trees. And it's gonna open this array up. But I've missed out on uh, two solid hours already from about nine o'clock. Uh, we're just sliding it over here they would have been in full sun for the past two hours, which makes a huge difference as opposed to 20 watts. So it takes a little doing. Um, and as you can see, I've got a lot of trees back up in there, which I really like. It's gonna be nice, shady, shadier for the summertime, which is great. But so I'm gonna run an 80 foot run. Uh, I actually might run a 90 foot run. I might just tie in a, I think I will tie in a 30, another 30 feet of extension cables because that'll give me over to here. And then it'll also give me uh, 10 extra feet to put my battery bank exactly where I want it in the shop. I'm not gonna have it right there next to the door. I don't like that. It's just all during the experiment of where am I gonna do the best for this time of year. So yeah, in a minute, these are gonna be in full sun and, and that battery is gonna get fully charged today, no doubt, because we, as you can see, don't have a cloud in the sky. We're back into uh, <laughs> drought conditions. And this is the projected forecast for the near future too, which is very unusual. So typically it'd be very cloudy and even rainy this time of year. It's not happening right now, so gonna take advantage of this spot right here. And it'll be facing basically the same direction as my array over there. So, yep, that's the sweet spot. 30 more feet of cable. I can make a 90 foot run. That's no problem. And then I'll be good to go. So that's how it goes. Yeah, I had to play around with several positions and was just never satisfied, uh, you know, for brief periods of time, east side works okay. Brief periods of time, north side worked okay. But I need one that works, you know, really, really well. And that's what it's going to be right there. So pretty easy. Took a few days, really, of running around and, and putting panels in a different area and monitoring what I was actually getting. Uh, but right there fully sustained sunshine. And I really don't have a problem with making a 90 foot run. I have 
uh, several 60 foot runs out here and I don't lack for anything. Uh, another 30 feet, I don't think it's gonna hurt me at all. I'll let you know, but that's where it's gonna get tied up. So that's what I figured out. And it takes a, it takes a little doing to find your sweet spot, especially uh, in this kind of a environment here. So, yeah. Not a single cloud in the sky. Unbelievable. That. <laughs> I can't tell you how unusual that is for out here. We are usually under cloud cover in normal conditions. And we haven't seen a cloud. So that's what I figured out for the Bungaloha. I'm going to have it up and running with 400 watts of power. I'll show you what that looks like running 90 feet. You know, I'll, we'll look at the Victron app when it's all hooked up here in the next couple of days. But that's where it's going to be. But yeah, I'm just going to have to get 30 more feet of cable. I ran all that I have. And oh, so close. <laughs> all right, you guys. Aloha. Catch you on the next one. Yeah, those panels. They'll start producing here in a minute, but you know, from noon to four, only four hours where I could, even this time of year, by moving them 20 feet to the left, I can increase that to catching fully six full hours of sun with the sun at the slowest point, basically. I mean, it's coming up every day, so it'll get better and better every day, but yeah. So that's how it goes.